Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm always talking about the importance of practice, but I know we're all busy and finding the time can be a real challenge. Even I struggle with this. Editing tutorials takes up so much time that I sometimes go a week or more without picking up a brush. I've learned that I have to make the time to paint rather than find the time. It means pushing other things aside and prioritizing my art. This month I've committed to painting every day because it's World Watercolour Month. World Watercolour Month was started by Charlie O'Shields in 2016 to inspire people to paint with watercolour and to raise awareness about the importance of art and creativity. Anyone can join the celebration. All you have to do is tag your watercolour art with hashtag World Watercolour Month. You don't have to paint a masterpiece. It can be as simple as practice in your watercolour journal. Speaking of journals, one of my wonderful patrons made this beautiful journal and sent it to me for my birthday. I've decided to fill it with little bird paintings because birds are one of my favourite subjects to paint. I've painted a bird every day this month, almost every day, and I'm excited to show you some of them right after we talk about Skillshare who is sponsoring this video. Since we're talking about practice and improving our skills, Skillshare is the perfect partner. They offer countless classes on watercolour, painting, creativity and more, helping you find inspiration and learn new techniques. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your craft, Skillshare has something for everyone. I've published 14 watercolour classes myself on Skillshare. In my latest class, I walk you through the process of painting three different seashells. It's suitable for beginners and you'll learn a lot of different techniques. If you haven't heard of Skillshare before, it's the largest online learning community for creatives. They offer thousands of classes led by industry experts across lots of different fields like film, illustration, design, productivity and so much more. One class I highly recommend is Drawing for Beginners, How to Draw Faces Quickly and Accurately. This class by Louise Stigel teaches you how to draw any face with ease, focusing on concepts like choosing the right reference photo, starting with big shapes and working with light and shadow. What I love about this class is its approach to making portrait drawing accessible and fun, especially for beginners. There's nothing too complicated, just simple, powerful observation skills and sketching techniques that help you capture likeness and develop your artistic expression. It's a fantastic way to enhance your drawing skills without feeling overwhelmed. One of the standout features of Skillshare is their learning paths. These are thoughtfully curated collections of classes that guide you step by step to mastering a specific skill. This unique and valuable resource is perfect for anyone dedicated to learning and improving. So if you haven't checked out Skillshare yet, now's the perfect time. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today and see how Skillshare can help you grow your skills and passions. Now let me show you what I've been working on. This is my beautiful journal, a gift from one of my amazing patrons. I've been trying to paint a little bird in it each day this month. Birds are one of my favourite subjects and this daily practice has been a wonderful way to improve my skills and stay consistent with my art. Each page is a day of practice, a burst of creativity and a step forward in my art journey. As I mentioned, even though painting in watercolour is my job, I don't get a lot of time to paint because of all the other things I have to do for my business. Painting is just a small part of what I do and it can be frustrating when I go days and days between painting. I feel like I can't improve my skills because I don't get enough time to paint. So I need to carve out some time to paint as often as I can. Now let's dive into the process of creating some of these paintings and I'll talk about why practicing every day is so important. Practicing every day is important for lots of different reasons. First, it helps build muscle memory. The more you paint, the more natural and instinctive your brush strokes become. 
This makes it easier to translate your ideas onto paper without overthinking every detail. It's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the more fluid and effortless it becomes. Practicing confident brush strokes builds your technical proficiency as an artist. It improves your control over the brush and water, allowing you to achieve desired textures and effects more successfully. This enables you to express your artistic vision more precisely, whether you're capturing delicate details like I am here or creating bold, expressive gestures. Using confident brush strokes is something I need practice with. I need to trust myself to apply the paint confidently to the paper. It's something I've talked about before. I'm more and more conscious about it these days. Daily practice also nurtures creativity by establishing a routine of regular painting. This habit allows you to explore new techniques, styles and subjects, leading to unexpected discoveries and improvements in your art. While I was painting these birds, I experimented with various colour palettes and brush techniques, and I focused on simplifying the subject as much as I could. We often try to cram every little detail into our paintings, which can make them feel cluttered. Painting every day helps you learn to keep things simple. You start to focus on the important parts and let go of the unnecessary stuff. And this makes you think more about why you're painting something and what you want to say about it, turning your work into thoughtful expression. I used to paint everything I saw because I didn't know how to simplify. Now, through practice, it's much easier for me to focus on the area that interests me and simplify the areas that aren't that important. Painting as often as possible has another big advantage. It keeps you consistent, which is crucial for artistic growth. When you practice regularly, you stay connected to your skills and you keep making progress. It helps prevent the stagnation that can happen if you take long breaks between painting sessions. By painting every day, even if it's just for a few minutes, you reinforce your techniques and you keep your creative instincts sharp. Even short daily sessions add up over time. They let you build on what you've done before, improving your skills and trying out new ideas. This regular practice helps you understand your favourite mediums and subjects better, so you can take on more complex projects with confidence. It reminds me of that saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. Keeping up with your art consistently ensures that you don't lose touch with your skills and your creativity. So keeping up a regular painting routine isn't just about getting better technically, it's about fostering creativity and resilience as well. It helps you stay disciplined and persistent, which are crucial for artists aiming to grow and succeed. By staying consistent, you keep your artistic vision sharp and your passion alive, paving the way for ongoing growth and achievement in your artistic journey. Taking a little time each day to focus on your art can be like a peaceful ritual, bringing a sense of accomplishment and moving you forward. It keeps your motivation up and your love for painting alive. For example, this morning, I painted one of these little birds right after I stepped into my studio. Before I did anything else, I sat down with my brushes and I spent about an hour painting. It was such a relaxing hour and it helped to set a calm tone for the day ahead. Painting like this, without worrying about the result, feels freeing. It's a chance to unwind, dive deep into your art, 
and take a break from the everyday hustle. Daily practice allows you to tackle challenges head on. Each painting session brings new obstacles and learning opportunities, which helps you to grow as an artist. Whether it's mastering a new technique or overcoming a creative block, consistent practice equips you with the skills and resilience to face these challenges. Hopefully you'll learn something new with each painting session. So as you can see, making time to paint every day, even if it's just a small piece, can make a significant difference in your journey as an artist. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced painter, the benefits of daily practice are huge and it can lead to continuous growth and improvement. One more thing I love about these short painting sessions is that they enhance my enthusiasm for painting. And these little journal paintings can be used as studies for larger paintings. With this little puffin, I was so happy with it that I planned to make a large painting of it. And I'm looking forward to it. So there you have lots of reasons to try to carve out some time each day to do a bit of painting. I have written some blog posts about the importance of regular practice and painting every day. I'll link to them in the description if you're interested in reading some tips to help you find the time to paint. Remember that World Watercolour Month is not just about painting, it's about embracing creativity and enjoying the journey of artistic expression. So I hope you will continue to pick up your brushes, explore new colours and capture moments on paper. I'll see you in the next one. But I've learned that I have to, no, I'm not going to say but. One of my wonderful patrons made this beautiful drew. Dr now, you've got the hair on your Juna. forehead. you have to go back. From? Uh, when you said the, started talking about watercolour month. Is that all right? Mm. I, oh, I'm getting good at this, aren't I? Just do it. I don't get a lot of time to paint because all of the other things I have to do because, because of all of the other things I have to do. Remember... Remember that world water... Are we good? Yeah, we're good now.